everyone, I'm back and I wanted to show you some cards I made for my, or for the greetings from group over at your, over at your paper pantry. And this, what is it? This month we were making Christmas cards. So this is the card I made. Whoops, I forget I have this light on. It's right here. And I used just um, some uh, My Mind's Eye paper. It was sold at a, a stack over at Michael's. And I just cut out the banners here that were already printed on the paper. Added some little lace trims. This is a digital image from Ida La Mija, uh, Etsy store. She sells the most beautiful digital images. And the inside I just stamped, wishing you Christmas cheer. And I stamped. And may buy um, on the back with an envelope and this I read the description again and it didn't say to use a stick pin this month so I didn't use one just because I thought maybe these could be sent through the mail if um, whoever received them actually wanted to use them as some Christmas cards to send out so I didn't want it to be really bulky so I kind of kept that in mind when I was making them and they're all the same the only thing that's a little different is maybe the digital image and then if it didn't have like a little sign right here I put like Noel and then um, the insides are just a, a little bit different. And I didn't stamp the envelope. See that one? See that one really well. And I find that it's just so super easy to use the digital images. And they're so pretty. There's the last one. So those are my four I'm sending off. And I also did a swap over on the Romantic Cottage. Oh, those are my cards from Teresa. Um, it was to make a sachet for a one-on-one -on -one swap with um, your partner. My partner was Linda, who's Linda Lapotka on YouTube. She's Linda Lapotka. Yeah, I think she is on YouTube. And um, this is the one I made her. And she's already sent me mine, and they're so super beautiful. I have to show you um, them, but in another video. Um, so this is how I made mine, and I used uh, Teresa's tutorial where she uses rice and just scents the rice. And mine scent is. Um, spiced apple. So I took some thin muslin because I wanted it to be the smell to come through the the fabric and then I lined it, I covered it with some, what is this, a lace that I tea dyed, well actually I coffee dyed it. And then here's a little doily that I picked up at an antique store, some more lace um, that I tea dyed. Back there's some more lace. One of these little flowers that Teresa gave me. Um, this is a handmade uh, rolled rose flowers from that same muslin. There's a little tiny doily in here from the paper bag lady one. Thank you Julie. I love that you sell these cute little doilies too. And then the center is a Webster's pages. And then I just sewed mine up but I wanted it to, to look like um, it opens up so I just um, tied some seam binding to make it look like the little bundles. But that's Linda's and here's a little bit of lace I also got from Teresa. Um, and that's going out to Linda today. So I hope she likes it. I hope you like it, Linda. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.